Here is shot. Um, so Devin White kind of mentioned some of that how you possess some quality leadership qualities. What type of leadership do you think you possess on the LSU football team? Well, I mean, it's many leadership roles I have on this team, but uh, vocal, um, you know, showing people how I work. But I think it's a mixture of all of them because it's tough being a leader in the SEC. Um, you have to be able to lead guys that are older than you and younger than you. So. I just try to do a great job of just showing guys how I work. And that's the biggest thing. When guys see you working hard, then they'll uh, respect you. Again, raise your hand. If you got a question, we'll get a microphone to you. Go right back over here in the back left. How are you, first Good, how of are all? you? Good, how you doing? Uh, I'm doing well. Uh, I'm curious what it's like uh, playing for a, a guy like Aranda. Um, he is a... Um, He's, a lot of people believe, a head coach in the making. And I'm curious what it's like to have a guy like that leading you guys. Um, it's great. He is a guy that doesn't say much, but he doesn't have to. And every day um, he's bringing in new wrinkles and schemes to our defense that are just absolutely great. And it works Saturday after Saturday. So having somebody like Coach Aranda on your side is something that we never take for granted because uh, he's a great coach. We'll go all the way to the back on the left camera platform. Uh, speaking of uh, Coach Aranda, you guys are now in your third year under him, whereas the offense is now working on their third different offense. How much is that an advantage to you, and how has that in increased, the, like you said, the wrinkles over the last three years? Well, any time you have the same guy coaching you for you know, two years, that's helpful. You know, you know what to expect in the playbook, you know, some new things that he could look at doing. So having Coach Aranda for a third year is just going to be – I think going to be able to boost us up to an even better defense because we're comfortable with him. We know what he expects, and we know some of the things that he likes to do. So it's going to be very interesting to see how we progress this year. We'll go right here in the middle on the left side. Richard, what's the most important thing you want people to know about you? I want people to know that I am a very humble guy. And I'm humble, but I'm hungry to be great. You know, um, I was raised by my mom and dad who taught me to be myself at all times and always be respectful to all people, no matter the color of their skin or you know how big they are, how small they are, just to always be respectful. But also somebody that's very hungry and that wants to be great. You know, If it's not in football, if it's just in doing whatever I do in life, just somebody that's very eager to be you know, great. Go to the camera platform, front of the left side. Back here. Uh, I don't know if you saw the video, but one of your former coaches, Pete Jenkins, was very animated when asked about you and said, you were one of his toughest players that he ever coached. I mean, what gives you that edge? What gives you that grit when you play? Uh, just I don't want to let my brother down. Um, I battled some injuries last year, but everybody's injured in college. Everybody has bumps and bruises. But for me, it's just to fight through it and keep going because no day is promised. So. If I can walk and if I can go, I'm going to go and give my all. Go to the camera platform on the far right over here. Rashard, could you brag on your D-line mates a little bit? Um, we've heard a lot about Braden, haven't seen a lot of them. Uh, and then just maybe some of the other guys that we should expect to see some play out of. Wow. I mean, we have a great room this year. I feel like this is probably the best defensive line as far as just a brotherhood that I've been, on, been a part of. Um, Starting with Braden Fajoko, he is a guy that came in and from day one he's worked his butt off. Uh, he's played significant snaps at Texas Tech and he was a very good football player. So to get him is great. Um, Neil Farrell is a guy that people don't know a lot about but are going to see who he is. He's a guy that's strong, he's tough, he's physical, and he has a chip on his shoulder just to show people that he's a great football player. Um, Glenn Logan, my roommate, he's a guy that's transformed his body into, man, he looks good. Um, he's in the best shape he's ever been in, and he has a chance to get significant snaps. And in the middle of our defense, the heart and soul, Rougarou, Ed Alexander, he's a guy that's played significant snaps for us, and uh, he's going to be good. Uh, you know what to expect from him, a guy that's big and dominant. And the younger guys, Chasen Hines, Dominique Livingston, Davin Cotton, I can go on and on about these guys. They've came in from day one and not said much. They've kept their mouth shut and just worked. And that's good to see because nothing's going to be given to them or any of us, but for them, they're working very hard. So I think we'll be able to rotate in two and three deep and be a great group. We'll go down here on the front row all the way to the left. 
With how many guys y'all lost on offense, do you feel a little bit of a, an extra pressure to sort of carry the team, especially in the early going? Um, I wouldn't say to carry them, but if we have to, we will. We want to be able to help our offense in as, in as many ways as we can. If that's, you know, playing 70, 80 snaps, put it on us, put it on the defense. Uh, LSU is known to have a great defense, and we want to uphold that tradition until the offense, you know, does what they have to do, and it's going to come around for them. They're a gr great group that's working extremely hard, and they'll be just fine. We'll go all the way to the back on the left side. Rashad, uh, Rashad uh, Devin was saying that even though he's older than you, he looks up to you as a leader uh, just by the way you play and, and all the other intangibles. What, how do you view Devin um, on this defense and just overall uh, his, his impact? Well, I mean, I've been knowing Devin since we've been getting recruited. Uh, we took visits together, and we have a great relationship. And I look up to him like a big brother. Um, he's a guy that's proven. Um, all-American, all-SEC, but you'll never hear him talk about that. He just wants to make this team great, and that's what makes him such a great leader is that, yes, he has all these different awards and everything, but you don't never hear that from Devin. Devin wants to work every day, and he pushes me every day to lead this team to what, you know, things that we want to get accomplished. Go right here to the second row in the middle. What's your thoughts of opening up on a Sunday night on national TV in Dallas against a very good Miami team? Uh, I'm very excited. They are a great team. Um, they won a lot of games last year with Coach Rick. They got a great quarterback. And just doing it on a Sunday night, I mean, I think we're going to be the only game on TV that night. So uh, it's going to be a special atmosphere, and I can't wait to soak it all in. Go all the way to the back on the left, cam uh, camera platform. Uh, Devin mentioned that you are a straight A student. A, is that true? B, um, what's your favorite subject and what's your least favorite subject? Um, I used to be a straight A student until I started getting into my major and taking these harder classes. Um, freshman to sophomore year, yeah, it was looking good. And then, I mean, I started getting into these harder classes and um, it kind of took a toll on me, but I still have above a 3.0, which is pretty decent. Um, Second question, I would say that my favorite subject is history. I like learning about the different parts of our earth and just about the tradition and the culture that our country has been through. And least favorite, it would have to definitely be math because I need a tutor. Um, even a tutor might can't help me, so uh, math would be my least favorite. What's your major? Uh, sports administration. Any other questions for Rashad? Raise your hands and we'll get a microphone to you. Go right back here to the back right. Right. When you did your little video announcement, I think we noticed your voice. Uh, you got a great voice. What uh, What are some things that we don't know about you? you know, we, we, we've learned about Devin and his horses. What, what's something about you that we don't know yet? I would say that I'm just a guy of not many words. I don't say much. Um, I, like, I like being in front of the camera, though. That's one thing. When you put a <laughs> camera in front of my face, and I'll talk all day. But as far as just... Day to day with me, I'm not going to say a lot. Um, you'll see me give you a little smile or something, but you put the cameras in my face and I'll talk all day. Uh, that's something that I really love to do is talk in front of the camera, and that's something that I want to one day do with my life is media. <laughs> we'll go to the camera platform back here on the left. Steve Aranda is often described as kind of a perfectionist when it comes to preparation. Does that carry over to his players? It does. Um, he expects a lot out of us. and. The way he prepares us and the stuff he puts in, he expects us to know it. And if you don't know it, you won't play. So it's something that's very interesting to see all the different blitzes and schemes and things he brings in. But for us, we have to constantly study. And it's just like homework. You have to do your studying and watch film. All right, got time for one more. We'll go over here to the back row on the right. Hey, Richard. So Devin said that you're kind of a big teddy bear. You don't have a bad bone in your body. So how do you turn that around when you're on the football field and play angry? Well, I would say that that's my personality. I'm a guy who's like a teddy bear, but I hear a lot. You're just a big teddy bear. <laughs> but I mean, when I put it on the field, it's something different. Um, I'm not only playing for myself, but I'm playing for my mom, my dad, my family, and close friends. And it's just a sport that I've grown to love. Um, I love to be aggressive, and I'm two different people. but. On the field, I mean, I'm just, I'm ready to go at any time. So it's definitely two people. All right, thanks, Rashard.